Hello, Connie. This is Amy. How are you? So glad you are part of the MP Sing family, and congratulations on winning the online lesson giveaway. I took a look at your golf swing, and、uh, let me explain what's going on. So I took a look at your golf swing, and I saw your questionnaire. Thank you so much for the input. So I understand you want to gain more accuracy and consistency.、Um, so when you are taking it back, I notice that there's a lot of wrist movement in the takeaway. Instead of your shoulder turn making that takeaway happen, it's really wristy. So even though your shoulders look like they're turning, it's really not the main control of the backswing. From down the line, it's really wristy, so the club goes under the plane. And then from here, usually when you start under the plane and you turn, it gets really behind you. But from here, you get it back online by lifting up with your hands. This is probably where it shows your athleticism,、um, because you go under and then you try and get it back on plane, so it's. Wristy and then hands you lift. So when you do that, you can tell that your hip has、uh, kinked out to the left and your head is to the right, and then your right knee is pretty straight. So that just shows me that your body hasn't coiled correctly. We want to coil, turn your hips. About 45 to 50 degrees, and shoulders about 90 degrees, and load up with really great stability. And when you load up correctly, now all you have to do is boom, uncoil, and you're creating a lot of speed and consistency for allowing the club head to come back to the golf ball beautifully. But because you're not loading correctly, it's very wristy and then lifty. Your body hasn't coiled, so that means you're lacking a lot of power in the downswing. So what happens is, you can tell I draw a wall behind your hips here. You stay on it nicely, but then on the way down, because you don't have anything to uncoil, what you do is you use more of a going up momentum to create power, and this is all happening because of the backswing. So you can tell there isn't much shift. Because you have to create a lot of speed by going up and thrusting your hips forward. When you're going up, what happens is you would hit down, you hit it fat, or to avoid hitting it fat, you would kind of pull your hands up, and you can tell your arms are kind of bent in the through swing. Your hips should stay on that wall beautifully and uncoil. That way, boom. So you stay nice and low through the impact. You're just uncoiling, boom. That way, right? So let me just show you a regular swing. So you coil, uncoil. Oh, <laughs> oops! <laughs> Even after that one, you coil and uncoil, loading up to the leaf foot. But right now you are. Wristy lift, and then you go upward to create power. So that's giving you a lot of inconsistency of how you hit it, like hitting it fat, thin, compressing, and so your distance and directional control should be very inconsistent and off. To help you fix the standing up, early extension, this movement, and also your arms bent in the through swing,、um, all of those are coming from the back swing. And it's really a lot of stuff. We have to fix your takeaway. We have to make sure your body's turning. We have to make sure your hands are on the right track, because they go this way. We have to work on your coil, your turn, your hand position, your weight shift, and your staying low, hips on the wall, and your extension through the wall. There's a lot going on, but I'm going to give you one simple drill to help you fix most of it. Amify it, right? <laughs> you can use your golf bag.、Um, you, we just need something for behind your hips as a wall. Okay, I'll show you that in a little bit. This is、uh, a drill I did on my half swing lesson, but I'll direct this specifically to your swing, your needs. So you're going to set up with the hands wider than shoulder width apart on the shaft like so, and you're going to take it back. Your takeaway goes boom. So you're really making this shaft and your arms move by using the left. Shoulder. Your left shoulder is pressing on this grip end. Your both the arms are nice and straight. I'm trying to avoid any of the arms bending. So you push with your left shoulder. That's one. And then you push again with the left shoulder. So you're really giving it extension. And you notice the right knee hasn't straightened. Right. We don't want any of this. So keep that right knee bent and pointing 
in front of you, never rotating this way. So you go push, push, one more push, push that way. I want the wall behind your hips. When you do this, please remember, I don't want you to lean back into your heels. You have to have your weight in the correct part of your feet, which is either in the middle of your feet or in the balls of your feet. So I don't lean into it have the weight in the correct spot and just have your hips touching the back or the wall or a chair. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna push with your left shoulder three times. Push, push. Notice how the hands are in front of your chest and the shaft is slanted, nice and upright, and then push. Notice that shaft is pointing left of the target, okay? So you usually get wristy, lift, and then you go down. But we want to make sure your shoulders are coiling. Right knee stays still, push, push, push. I don't want you to ever pull with any of the arms. It's always a push, okay? And then on the way down now, this shaft is going to help you to understand to shift. So it goes push, push, push. And then the sh shaft pushes you. See how this almost works as an arrow. The arrow pushes you toward the target. Push, 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 and push, and both the arms are nice and extended. I don't want to see this that you have going right now because you're coming up and your arms are bending. So your hips are staying on the wall and pushing. So the grip end, you're pushing toward the target. So both arms are extended. With the wall, it looks like this. So it goes push, 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 and the shaft pushes you, boom. See how the hips try to stay on that wall as much as possible, never this way, it's push. See how your head stays nice and low. It's push, 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 push. This is going to feel completely different. You won't be able to breathe at the top of the backswing and you're going to hit some really fast shots in the beginning when you start shifting correctly on the way down and staying low, keeping that hips on the wall. But uh, the more practice you do, the more comfortable it's gonna get. Once you get better, you're gonna do this without the club. The arms are wide apart. I want your arms to come together as if you're holding the club. You can hold or you can have your palms touching each other. And you're gonna do the exact same thing, push, 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 right? Push, push, push. You see how the hands are always in front of you, but the hands moved because of the left shoulder lead. Push, push, push. Right knee is pointing uh, forward, bent, not straightened this way. That's gonna get your hips and head to kink that way. Keep it bent, push, push, push. And then on the way down, just like this push, you're going to push your palms. Okay, so it goes push, push, push push your palms. It's almost like left shoulder, push, push, push three times, right shoulder, push in the downswing. With the hips on the wall, push, 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 push. So it could be your left shoulder pushing three times and right shoulder pushing again in the downswing, but I want you to feel that before you go ahead and start swinging. Hips on the wall, knee bent, push, 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 push with this, right shoulder, push through, my hips are touching the wall. Push, push, push. So I try to explain what was going on in your swing. There's a lot going on, but I amified it for you and showed you one simple drill, three different steps, one with the shaft, without the shaft, and hitting the golf ball. Um, so please try that out. If you have any questions before you start your practice, please let me know. I'll give you feedback on your questions. And then after you do plenty of practice and you feel pretty confident on um, what you're doing, please send me an updated swing so I can let you know if you're on the right track or not. I want to make sure you're working on the right things. So please don't hesitate to um, tell me your updates. I'd love to hear your progress. Best of luck. This is really going to help you to load better in the backswing and also be able to weight shift correctly. I mean, this will help you to fix so many different things that's going on in your swing. I can tell you're very athletic, so I'm sure you have no issues getting this. I know it's not a, an easy fix, but I know you'll do great. So please let me know. Once again, congratulations. I hope this really helps uh, with your golf game and your golf swing. Thanks, Connie.